You're watching Unreal Ant Gaming. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You want to see me turn Super Saiyan? Or should I take it to the next level? I'm also the narrator, too. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, make sure and smash subscribe to Unreal Ant Gaming. The Dragon Ball Super Galactic Patrol Prisoner Arc is without question one of the most interesting stories that has been told within the Dragon Ball Super franchise, and as interesting as it was, what if the outcome of Moro vs Goku and Vegeta had played out a little differently than how we remembered it to be? What if Moro in fact was able to overcome our heroes and make his way into Universe 11? As this is the story of Moro vs Universe 11, an SFM fan manga special which showcases the battle between Universe 11's mightiest warriors against the Eater of Worlds, but the question here is will Moro be able to successfully devour everything within Universe 11, or will the Pride Troopers of Universe 11 stand up in having to rise against the opposition and having to put Moro down for good? As once more before we begin, if you are new to this channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then be sure to smash that subscribe button on this channel and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload, along with giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys love Dragon Ball and anime, as well as checking out the official Dragon Ball Fan Mangas playlist located down in the description box below, to where on that playlist you guys will be able to find all the latest and best Dragon Ball Fan Mangas created by the community for the community, so be sure to head on down below, check out the official Dragon Ball Fan Mangas playlist for all the best and latest videos on Dragon Ball Fan Mangas. As we kick off a Wadi Ducks Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of Moro vs Universe 11 manga chapter number 1 special, with the narration opening up and letting us know that this is in fact Universe 7 post battle on Earth, with Moro standing in the midst of space by having to then comment, at last. Those pathetic Saiyans have now been devoured and their power now one with me. However, the ceilings of my limits are no longer there, which means I could still continue to grow. But how would I be able to continue to grow if I had already devoured the strongest in this universe? Could the rumors of other universes be true? If possible, then that would be the key to my growth. I have grown far beyond what I had previously assumed I'd be. Surely my evolution can continue to expand, but where to find them? There are not many life forms left in this universe worthy of being eaten. Unless what Sagambo had said was true, and that there is a device capable of taking me to such places. Thus, I will need time. However, there was a name that was brought onto me before. A primitive beast who goes by the name Broly on a distant planet called Vampa. Perhaps this could do for now. Goku and Vegeta surely had given me the tools and power needed to carry on. Perhaps these other universes will become my feasting ground and becoming the strongest in all of creation. It shall be done. Now then, what was that little move that Vegeta and Goku have used on Earth? The technique of the Yardrat people, ah yes. I believe this is called the Instant Transmission. Now, where are you, Broly? Yes, there you are, and the second Moro uses Instant Transmission in getting to Planet Vampa, the narration then went along to comment, and so Moro had traveled to Planet Vampa in his quest of finding more fighters to devour. After facing off and defeating Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, the androids, and even Beerus, Whis remained loyal to his commands of never breaking the law of the angels and Moro continued to feast in getting stronger. Moro challenged and destroyed everyone he came across beginning with Broly 
on Vampa, and then later with Hit in Universe 6 by using a traveling device which allowed beings to travel from universe to universe that was discovered by Sagambo. After destroying what remained in both Universe 7 and Universe 6, Moro went out to look for stronger victims, thus finding and making his way into Universe 11. As we then get to see how Moro finally does so, he then comes across Dispo as Moro went along to comment, What a rich universe, booming with life forms with amazing and strong energy. This will fuel my hunger indeed. That's when Dispo went along to tell Moro, You're not going to get away with the crimes you've done here. We're going to make sure that you never see the light of day again. And as Dispo then went along to attack Moro, Moro went along to respond, Similar to the Galactic Patrol, are you? There's nothing that makes my stomach turn than those who fight to protect peace. As even after Dispo had attacked him, he then went along to ask, How are you unaffected by my attacks like this? With Dispo continuing, Moro then went along to chime in, I am in search of warriors beyond your childish power. If this is the best you can do, then you are doomed. As only then, out of nowhere, God of Destruction Topo jumps in as he went along to tell Dispo, Fall back, Dispo! I will be handling this from here on. He is much stronger than what he's letting off. It's too dangerous, and with Moro noticing this, he then went along to respond, This energy. He bears that of God of Destruction power, which means he is of greater use to me than this fool. Stop wasting my time! As he then went along to swipe Dispo away, he then continues, Now then! You, your energy is of godly power. I want to see the best you can do against me. Oh no, Topo says. Dispo's life energy, it's... It's completely gone. And with Dispo crashing on down, Topo then continues, It can't be. He's gone. Dispo, no. As Moral chimes in, You should be thankful that I put him out of his misery the way I did instead of consuming his life. He was beginning to annoy me. You, on the other hand, you have gotten my attention. This power you have. Are you the current destroyer god of this universe? Because surely it would be a pleasure to consume another god. And with Topo leaning on in, he then honored Dispo's life by telling him, We will avenge your death, my friend. I swear on my life we will. I will make sure that every bone in your body is broken for what you've done, creature. And the second God of Destruction Topo charges on in, he then continues, For as long as we watch over this universe, you will never go as far as to destroy it. But even as Topo attempts to make full contact against Moro, Moro went on to dodge every single attack that Topo had thrown at him as Moro went along to respond, Interesting. You possess similar power to a god of destruction, but you are not one. You surely are impressive, but perhaps I have made a mistake when I assumed you'd be this universe's strongest. And with Moro punching Topo in the face, he then continues, You still have much to learn, placement holder. And with Topo sent flying into the distance by crashing into a building, Topo then responds, But how? It was as though I had felt the power of both Goku and Vegeta surging through his body. This can't be the end. The 11th universe depends on me. I cannot allow this creature to destroy what we have fought so hard to protect. I am the mightiest being in the entire multiverse, Moro says. Neither you nor your god of destruction power can rival me. I am in search of the strongest fighters, not wastes of life, with Topo chiming in why why am I so damaged? I feel as though my entire body is broken, but off one punch? This can't be the end. I'm sorry, Dispo. I'm sorry, Universe 11. I have failed you all. And as soon as Moro was then shown having to wind up an attack, he then went on to tell Topo, No matter though, I will draw you to the brink of death and then consume your life force and energy as you die. Consider this a parting gift for being the first to have their powers taken here. Now to be done with you for good. And as soon as Moro then winds up firing this attack, Topo comments, I cannot allow him to end this. This is not where I die. I... I have to try. I can't go out like this. As right then and there, out of nowhere, Jiren then immediately steps in by having to deflect Moro's attack by stating, Not on my watch. J Jiren, Topo says. You've come, but... 
how are you able to get here so quickly? What happened here, Jiren asks, with Topo responding, we... we were ambushed, Jiren. This creature entered into our universe using a device claiming to be from the Seventh. An escaped prisoner, he... he killed Dispo. We're not sure what he wants, but he says he wants to devour the strongest warriors in order to grow stronger. He's even said that he had killed both Vegeta and Goku and their universe as well. He is extremely dangerous, Jiren. We cannot risk keeping him around at all. He must be destroyed. It is the only way, with Jiren responding, so, he is from the 7th. It makes sense on why I am able to feel both Goku and Vegeta's power within him. I can also sense the souls of millions as though they are crying in pain. I see what must be done. In honor of our fallen warriors, I will take him away from the city. Do not follow me under any circumstance. This battle will be fought to the death, and I don't intend to lose either. Not after the training I've done to prepare myself for moments like this. You, Jiren says, I am the strongest in this universe. Follow me and let's settle this once and for all. With Moro then responding, your energy is massive. I can see you are unlike anyone I've seen since meeting the Saiyans in Universe 7. So I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to bait me into leaving this city of people so they won't get in our way. Clever! But I will agree to your terms, only if you promise to show me the full extent of your hidden power. I can sense a great passion in your heart, and a burning desire for power similar to me. I would like to see this mighty strength for myself, and be the judge of whether or not you shall be devoured as my main dish. And as we get to see how Jiren and Moro move away, Moro then continues, Just so you know, warrior, I will do what I must to kill you. If you are proven to have the power I am looking for, then I will take everything from you until you rot into the dirt. With Jiren then responding, I don't care how powerful you claim to be, you could never destroy what I am with stolen power. True might comes from one's own power with Moro responding, is that so? Then let's find out if your will can hold up to the mighty power you preach about then. And as soon as Moro then charges on in, Jiren and Moro then go on to clash as the narration comments and so the great battle between Moro and Jiren begins with the fate of the entire multiverse now resting on Jiren's shoulders to stop Moro. Will Jiren find a way to destroy Moro or will Moro overcome Jiren's mighty power and devour him as he did Goku and Vegeta? Find out next time as only then the Beyond Dragon Ball Super SFM fan manga special then comes to a close. Now, the original creator of Wadi Duck who can be found on Instagram to where as you guys can see on screen wants to get your thoughts and feedback as to what you guys want to see in regards to SFM fan manga specials because not only is he going to be working on more additions to Moro vs Jiren, but he's also thinking about working on an animation involving the two. So what I really enjoyed about this is the fact that Moro actually, even though it's very convenient to find a device to travel from universe to universe to, had stumbled upon Universe 11 in not only wanting to test the waters and see how far he can grow, but the narrative further implies that Moro had not only finished off Goku and Vegeta along with Beerus, but also Gohan, the androids, Piccolo, Broly, and all of Universe 7, making his way into Universe 6, cleaning house in Universe 6, and thus getting into Universe 11. So in the comment section below, let's just say, in theory, if we did have a version of God of Destruction Topo versus Moro, how would this go, or at least in this case now, between Moro and Jiren, who do you guys favor in this fight, and who do you guys believe would win if Moro did in fact end up in Universe 11 and came across and battled against Jiren? So again, thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for your time. If of course you guys are new to the channel, then I do encourage you guys to smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications to never miss a single upload video on the channel, as well as giving this video a big thumbs up by slapping that like button down below if you guys are simply stoked, ready, and excited to see more of these awesome SFM fan manga specials only because Wadi Duck is planning on creating several parts involving Moro versus Jiren, so one can only imagine as to how this is going to go, but you guys have input as to what you guys want to see, so drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for watching, tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Have a great day everybody, and take care.
Peace. And a quick little reminder before you guys go, if you guys are unaware, I do have a second gaming channel located down in the description box below, so be sure to head on over to Unreal Royale and hit that subscribe button along with turning on all notifications as to there, you guys will find all different kinds of gaming content that you will not get to find on Unreal and Gaming, titles and video games such as Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, Dragon Ball Z Legends, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai G3, Minecraft, Blair Witch, and many other retro games on that channel. So if you guys are into gaming, then make sure you guys subscribe over on Unreal Royale. I want to thank you all so much for your time, and I'll catch you all in the next one. This is the Galactic Emperor of the Universe, and of course I'm here to tell you to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming. Also follow Unrelent Gaming on these social media platforms to stay connected at all times. And if you don't, then very soon you will all be dead! <laughs> oh, did someone say unrelent gaming? Oh my god. The fuck's up, on? Put on some clothes! Well, why don't you put on any clothes? What? I don't need clothes! But, uh, Jesus Christ, that's huge! <laughs> what, Broly? Freezer. Uh-oh. Prepare to die! <laughs> <laughs> that I'm the biggest Unreal Engine gaming fan. This is my moment. I'm a part of his notification squad. Universe 7 can have all the fun. I just want the food. And don't forget to leave a comment on this video. Show some love for the best community on YouTube. <laughs> K -k 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 -k